the scariest or strangest thing you've seen in a national park or national forest? Part 2. Get comfy and enjoy the show if you're into it. Smash that subscribe button and spread the word about Thread Tonic. Count 1. First time ever camping, it was for a field trip in 7th grade. God, I was miserable and I hated it. And I didn't want to be away from home. It was about 5 hours away. I couldn't sleep, so I got up in the middle of the night and walked outside and I sat with a little book light to read in front of the cabin. I was so obsessed with Christopher Pike at that age, holy shit. Anyway, I was super unnerved, but I couldn't stand going back into that cabin and laying on this stupid, awful wooden manger-type cot, so I stayed right there by the door. I had this weird feeling like I was being watched, but felt safe enough because it was camp. But every now and then, I just couldn't stop glancing up. It just felt weird, I can't explain it, like hair on the back of your neck standing up weird. I guess I happened to move my book just right because the light caught on a pair of glowing eyes, like an animal, right in front of me. As a kid, I felt like they were right in front of me, but must have been down the steps and a few yards back. Because I dropped the book and the light fell off to the side, I could just barely see that it was a goddamn mountain lion. I couldn't even see the full thing at first, just a paw, but then I followed it up. It saw me, and I saw it, and I could not move. In my mind, I knew two things. One, if I didn't move, someone was going to find a blood trail and then my half-eaten corpse. And two, if I got attacked by a mountain lion because I was doing something I wasn't supposed to, my dad would be so mad. I have no idea how long I fumbled. It couldn't have been more than a few seconds, but it felt like ten years. I reached up behind me until I found the door handle and twisted until I fell into the cabin backward. Closed the door and got back into my stupid bed and laid there until sunrise. One girl woke up and I just told her the wind must have made the door bang. In the morning, our teacher came to wake us up and I got in trouble for leaving my library book outside. I didn't want to get in even more trouble, so I didn't tell anyone what happened. TLDR, I almost got eaten by a mountain lion. Count two, Cub Scouts. After staying late telling ghost stories, me and a friend snuck out to wander around at night, armed with nothing but a flashlight. We were walking along a paved path when we hear clicking footsteps just behind us. I shine the light behind us and only see glowing eyes and a silhouette of antlers. My friend takes off screaming. I back off slowly after him. It was a bloody deer. Account three. This happened on private property, but it's a creepy story that took place in the woods, so it kind of qualifies. Plus, this morning was opening day for deer season, and we were deer hunting when it happened. My cousin owns land in western Wisconsin where there's lots of hills and lots of deer. It's tradition for all of us to hunt on his property. My dad, cousin, and all their friends pitched in to build a hunting shack on the property and put up tree stands. We hunt on a schedule so none of us hunt in the same area at the same time, both for our safety and in hopes of getting a deer. My dad and I took an ATV and headed up a hillside. The sun wasn't quite up yet and we wanted to get set for sunrise. We marked which hill we were going up on the schedule inside the hunting shack. Nobody else was there yet, but we marked it anyways in case my cousin and his daughter showed up. We waited until about 9 a.m. and didn't see a thing. Not even as much as a squirrel. We decided to go get some coffee to warm up and then head back out. I followed my dad down the path back to the ATV, and we'd stop every so often to listen for deer. The only noises I heard were my footsteps and my dad's. About halfway to the ATV, I heard something else. It only happened when my dad and I walked. When my dad and I walk during deer hunting, I mimic his footsteps so we make less noise. I step at the same time as him. However, something behind me was making noise. It was like something was mimicking my footsteps. I spun around and peered into the trees. The sun still wasn't over the top of the hill yet, so we were in quite a bit of shade. I didn't see anything, so I continued to follow my dad down the hill. But I heard it again. This time I turned around when we were still walking and I saw something duck behind a tree. A pale face poked out from about 30 yards up the hill and hid behind the tree again. It poked out again and this time stayed staring down at us. I stopped and hit my dad's shoulder. He turned and saw it too. Get to the four-wheeler, he whispered and I didn't hesitate. I stared it down as my dad started up the ATV and as we departed, the face's dark little shoulder came out from behind the tree followed by the rest of its gnarled, malformed body. My dad hit the throttle and we got back to the hunting shack as soon as we could. Nobody else was there, so we got in the truck and left. 
I haven't been in those woods since. My dad was, and got a deer this morning, and acts like this never happened. I still think about it far too often. Account 4. Was camping and there was a stream with a concrete bridge spillway. Me being the fish and wildlife nerd I am, went into the creek to catch darters and crawfish. I was walking back, felt something brush my leg, looked down and saw an almost 4FT copperhead carrying a 3FT decapitated water snake with it. Account 5. I was going for a hike in the national park near my town, Piatra Craiului, Romania, next to Brand Dracula's castle, and I was wearing my headphones. It was 6 a.m. on the 28th of December, I think 2017. I walked on the trail for a bit when I heard a sneeze. I was like WTF and pulled out my headphones but continued to walk. A few seconds later, I heard it again. Just now it was closer. I realized that was no sneeze. It was freaking wolves. I ran down the mountainside, knife in one hand, stick in the other, until I got to the road, about five minas. Last time I went by myself on the mountain in winter. TLDR, Wolfpack. Account six. When I was a kid, maybe ten, my parents took our family of four to Mark Twain National Forest. We did not go to a campground. For whatever reason, we arrived around dusk and we had to hurry to set up camp. Soon after, we discovered that we had forgotten a lantern and it became very dark. My stepfather was an alcoholic and a mean drunk to boot, so there was a lot of yelling, and instead of lighting a campfire, we went to bed. As we all lie there trying to sleep, we begin to hear dead leaves rustle in the distance, as if someone were walking through the forest. Time was passing slowly as we listened to the sound getting closer. My sister, 12, my mother, my drunk stepdad, and myself were petrified, hoping that since we have no lights and because the person walking through the forest didn't have a flashlight, we may avoid notice. A few moments later, as the sound of shuffled walking was within just a few yards, the stranger stepped on a twig and it snapped. My father belted out a blood-curdling scream and my mother shrieked, Let's get out of here! All four of us bolted out of the tent toward the car, my brave parents in the lead. After a few terrifying moments, we reached our Honda Civic hatchback and we took off for home. We never went back for our things and I hate camping to this day. I am 43 and I still dream about this. Account 7. Did not necessarily happen to me, but happened to my mom when she was pregnant with me. She was out jogging in some forest in Alaska. She would do this daily. After some time, she noticed some people frantically trying to get her attention. She had headphones in so she could not hear them, so she stopped and asked them what was up. They told her that they had been trying to get her attention for a while because a big grizzly bear had been chasing after her as she was jogging, but eventually, and very thankfully for me, stopped chasing her for whatever reason. Account 8. Scariest thing? A chipmunk. Hiking a narrow trail cut into the side of a ridge in Ventana National Forest, California. In the middle of the trail was a mangy chipmunk with only about half its fur still attached running around in circles. No way to get past. I threw a rock at it to try and scare it into running off the trail and the bloody thing ran straight at me. Nearly had a heart attack as it ran past and kept going down the trail. Area known for rabies and bubonic plague. Count nine. Also the most beautiful thing. A herd of buffalo. Hundreds of them. All nearly the size of cars. I was in Yellowstone, it took two hours for them to cross the road and for traffic to continue through the park. One brushed up against my car, and the whole car shifted. It was crazy. Count 10. I found a bone altar once and a severed human hand in two different instances. Edit. When I was eight or nine, my mom took me to a reservoir that I think was in it near a national park. She made baskets and things from natural materials, and I went along to help collect. I wandered off a little and I was picking up trash. My mom gave me a nickel for each piece of trash I found and things in a bag and a basket for collecting things. I saw what I thought but was a discarded glove on the lake shore and went to pick it up so I could put it in my bag and well, it wasn't a glove. It was someone's left hand from about a few inches the wrist into the arm. The person had been in the water a few days and I picked up their severed hand. I started screaming and I guess my hands clenched onto the dead hand. My mom came running and had to pry my hands open to drop it. We went to the closest gas station to call the cops, early mid-90s and pre-cell phones, and they went out and collected it. 
From what I learned later, there had been a group of drunk teenagers with a power boat, and one had fallen in or something, and gotten hit by the boat. I found that chunk of him. They tried to convince me at the time it was a bear paw. I didn't talk for about two months, and I still have problems with recently dead things. As to the bone altar, I went hiking, camping in college, intending to make it to an area in southwestern Colorado. I had a stressful spring semester and needed space from people. I heard a group of people coming as I was heading back and went off into the woods to avoid them. During my detour to avoid them, I got into a patch of thick woods. I ended up coming along all I could call an altar of sorts made out of all kinds of bones of different creatures. It was sort of table-shaped, and someone had strung up different bones and bits of metal on strings all around the area. I was so creeped out, I backtracked back to the trail and got back to my car and left as quickly as I could. Haven't gone camping since. Account 11. I was driving home from Yosemite four years ago, and I stopped on the side of the road to go pee. I then heard birds in the distance completely stop chirping. It was around 5 p.m. BTW. I knew that a bear was nearby, so I cut it short and started to walk back to my car, which was like 30 feet away. Just as I turned around to walk back, I heard an insanely loud sound that was like a mix between a scream and an air raid siren. It sounded really close, and I knew for a fact that it wasn't a bear or cougar anymore, and I've never heard something so strange and loud, so I ran as fast as I could back to my truck and started it. Right before I drove off, I heard it again, but it was even louder, and it sounded even more creepy. I still think about it until this day, and I still don't know what kind of creature it could have been. Can someone please convince me that what I heard was normal, or if it was some kind of cryptid? Please help. I am terrified to go in the woods. Account 12. Two park rangers emerged from the bushes while a friend and I were smoking a bowl in Acadia National Park. What would have been a slap on the wrist became a felony charge because it was on federal property. Luckily, we were teenagers, so it was expunged from our records after a few years. I desperately still wish that I had the letter that arrived at my parents' house with the header, The United States of America versus My Name. Account 13. Doing some backcountry skiing went back up my old track for a second loop. Big-ass cougar prints, just following my old track back and forth, stalking me. Like not fist-sized, nearly spread hand-sized. Never did see it. Broke down at the top of a ridge line. Walked ten miles back to camp, slowly, with a bad limp from a sprained knee. A black bear followed me at about 50 yards away the whole time. Less scary, but I was injured so. I found some weird shit, too. Like Wiccan circles and such. Once with a central cage and some animal remains in it. Account 14. While working at a corn farm in the middle of a national park in Ohio, I was driving a gator around one of our biggest fields to pick up raccoon traps. At the back of the field, I turned around a corner and saw a swollen deer carcass under a tree. While the bloated deer was somewhat of a disturbing sight in and of itself, it took me a few seconds to realize that perched in the branches above were around 100 turkey vultures sitting in silence, staring directly at me. I put the gator in reverse and noped the fuck out of there. Count 15. Not national, but a nearby county forest. Went hiking on the trails with my family about a month and a half ago. The next week, we saw that a body had been discovered next to the same trail. The body was of a United executive who had been missing for over a year. We walked right past his corpse, but didn't notice. Account 16. Finally, something I can contribute to. One day, my friend and I decided to go camp at Sequoia National Park for the weekend. I like to leave pretty late so I can get to the park to set up camp, see the stars, and wake up to hit the trails and sights before everyone gets there. We're driving there in the middle of the night, and once we get to the main road, I notice a weird sort of glinting off the light from my headlights. I get closer, and I start to see a full-on cow in the middle of the road, all the way up in the national park by the mountains. I was so shocked because there was no obvious farms nearby, and the mountains were heavily sloped. Account 17. This wasn't in a national park, but a local forest preserve used to bike a lot when I was 12, 13, and stumbled across one baby doll hanging from a twine noose. I backpedaled onto the actual trail and got out of there fast. Account 18. The first time I went camping with friends while we were cooking and the sun went down, I heard a loud growl right behind us. Scared the crap out of me, also once staying at my ex's cabin in the woods. 
We heard what sounded like people having a conversation outside. This was nighttime in the middle of Mount Baker National Forest, so nobody was around. That we know of. 